TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNet headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, 12 noon Eastern time, middle of the trading day. Let's check in on the markets as quite a positive Tuesday to finish off kind of what we had yesterday with some volatility to the upside today. Dow up 459 points, trading 24,441. S&P's up 38 points, trading at 2657. And the NASDAQ up 117 points, trading at 7,067. You're looking at the gold contract up about $2 at 1342 and dollar index down 109 ticks, trading at 89,425. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of the futures markets, middle of the trading day. So some of what's out here, you had President Xi of China last night speaking at a conference, and his rhetoric was pretty open in terms of what the trade door trade war may hold, market liking that, and so the future spiked, and from there, we've gone higher. S&P 500, currently trading 26.58, near the highs of the session. NASDAQ 100, currently trading 65.96, again, near the highs of the session. We saw all these markets at about 11.40 a.m. spike a little bit lower. These are five-minute bars we're looking at. Dow 30, similar action. 24,418, even as about 10 o'clock, we're only trading at 24,250. Crude oil, it just does not stop today. Crude, quite a bid, trading above $65, $65.25. We'll get the API numbers four and a half hours from right now, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time for crude. And of course, tomorrow morning, we'll get the EIA inventory report. Gold contract with a little bit of volatility was up there at 1344, currently 1342. And Bitcoin trading 68 50. So the market waits for lots of information, but Zuckerberg today, 2.15 Eastern time, he'll be talking to the Senate. Tomorrow, somewhere in the 10 o'clock a.m. range, he'll be talking to the House. We'll see how that shapes Facebook. Stay tuned, folks. We got a man, Basil Chapman, coming up right now. Great day of programming at TFNN. Have a great afternoon.